Uh, shalom, shalom. First of all, before we begin, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushah, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Wadash. The ones to the other apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the hopeful elect tabernacle of David. Scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And uh, yeah, we're here gathered in the spirit. All right, uh, you know, the special guest, the, the, the brother, <coughs> Brother uh, Ayash, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, brother in town. So we just finna cook in the spirit. You know, just, uh, you know, just go into, you know, some of the things that, you know, we we, we deal with, you know, here in this bitter captivity, you know, here uh, in, in Babylon the Great, you know, under these curses and, uh, you know, knowing how, you know, we live in this world where, you know, things are corrupt, things are uh, out of order. You know, uh, the scriptures say, you know, surely you're turning the things upside down shall be esteemed as a potter's uh, clay. And, uh, you know, you just look at everything around you, you see everything is just out of whack. You know, it's, it's, it's out of course, you know, and, and, and we, we live in a warped, uh, world where, you know, people are living in an artificial, uh, 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 you know, it's just everything is just backwards. You know, you're not living a real life here. You know, the order is just messed up. All right, due to this devil and, and you know, his uh, lack of uh, ruling, you know, with, with, with wisdom because he really doesn't have true wisdom, right? <clears throat> so, you know, you get, you get this, you know, you get broken homes, all right? You get a, you know, a, a low birth, uh, food is defiled, unclean, all right? Uh, uh, no morality, no morals. You know, everything is just all messed up, you know. So this is the result of when you fall and deviate from the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High. Our, and, and our people in particular, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the reason why things are in shambles is because you you, you fell away from, from the, your ultimate guide, which if you would have followed that guide, you would be prosperous. Everything would be in this uh, natural order. You would be benefiting. But right now, look, look where we at. Death surrounds you. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, I had something. You want to just hit that big four? Well, I got this phone real quick. Let's <clears throat> well, well, we'll bag them up. And we'll stay over to Mr. Rock 19 and 22. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Neither any time the counsel of sinners prudence. Yeah, it is. You know, that's you know this this devil. He prides himself on, you know, um, being knowledgeable. You know, he, he 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 rewrote history. He controls the textbooks, the information. You know, you you a lot of our people look to this devil as you know well, he's the beacon of light. You know, he he can give you the advice on how the world is to be ran and. What a traditional family should be, and you know what a uh, what is the prototype image of a of a a man or a, or, or a woman, you know, which the scriptures say to envy not uh, the oppressor and choose none of his ways, because his ways is what'll lead you to death. But that's what our people learn in the society, man. You know, learning from the from the very serpent who lied to Eve <laughs> and told her. No, you won't die. You, you, you surely will live if you mm -hmm. eat of this tree. Mm -hmm. And look what that got her. Look what that got us. It opened up parents' doors box. You know? Into a world of ruin. You see? So this devil is not as wise as you as as he uh portrays himself to be. Everything that he, he 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 put in front of you, everything he tried to uh, 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 enlighten you with, it all leads back to wickedness. Taught our women how to be uh, rebellious. Taught our taught our, our men how to be effeminate, how not to uh, uh, be rational, to be emotional, to not know how to uh, uh, make rational decisions, mm -hmm. but to 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 act in act off of impulse that's not how we that's that's not how men conduct themselves we're supposed to be men of, of, of wisdom men with wits 
So, yeah. This man, Esau, that's not the way. All right? We have the, 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 the law, statutes, commandments. That's the way. That's the light. That's the lamp. That was, that was it. Yeah, that was it on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah a couple of them. Yeah, Kern. Yeah, Kern. Yeah, Kern. Yeah, this is Deuteronomy 28, you know, because these were the, the, the commandments for us to, to follow. I'm going to start at the top. Yeah, Kern. It says, And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power, Yahweh, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So these laws. Put us in favor with our power and it didn't put us in favor you know just off the fact that we obeyed them laws but really as we start to understand why these laws was put in place we see why the law okay put us as a superior nation on the earth because see really when you go into the law it speaks about how what doing on the fourth chapter how this is the wisdom yeah of the most is. high because you know let's get there it's the wisdom and what happened, we didn't appreciate the Lord's wisdom. So he took away that wisdom and allowed the heathen to rule. And now what we're seeing is the earth operating in a way not subscribed by the law, statutes, and commandments. And now we see why. Because we get to, because like we was talking before, the Lord making us marinate in this shit. Huh. <laughs> you know, every day you got to wake up with a vexation of how things are. Based on us deviate from this law. You got it, bro. Okay. This is uh, Deuteronomy 4, and I'll start here at 5. Mm -hmm. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord thy power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Mm -hmm. Keep therefore and do them, yep. for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. Yo, see, now we understand the true intent of the law. We understand what the okay. Heavenly Father was trying to implement in the earth. We see what he was trying to prevent. Because okay. we live in yeah. <laughs> We live in a culture, a lawless culture. So now that we got to deal with these niggas, you got to try to move away from niggas. Yeah. You know, you got to, uh, 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 you know, avoid this type of woman and that type of... The reason why we got to even live like this is because it's a lawless society. If the law was in place, these problems wouldn't exist. God. That vex us on a daily basis. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you can't, bro. You can't do that. That's a little bit more. Okay, okay. There's a six. It says, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. Yep. Which shall hear all these statues and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Yep. For what nation is there so great who hath Yahweh by Shimei or Shai so nigh unto them, as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for? So. We took that for granted. Yeah. The Lord dealing with us as a nation. The Lord giving, you know, lacing us with his wisdom on how to run the earth in righteousness. Because remember, Israel was created to be above. Okay. You know, as the brother going to get into in Deuteronomy 28. We was created to be above these nations and rule and be their righteous influence in the earth. Okay? But we lost their privilege due to our disobedience. So the Lord let the earth go haywire so we would have to marinate in this shit and be like, damn, we get it. Right. Well, yeah. we beg for the law now. <laughs> you see? Yeah. You got it, bro. <clears throat> you had some? Yeah, real quick. Uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and verse um, 24. Mm -hmm. And it says, but the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. Woo! And a wise king is the upholding of the people. See, of the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. You see, when you have true righteous wisdom and leadership, okay, everybody benefits. Right. When Solomon was in was in power, it says silver was as stone in Jerusalem, and the cedar tree was as a sycamore. Everybody benefited off of Solomon's wisdom. Now it's the complete opposite. We're being tormented off the wickedness of Esau Edom. The lawlessness of Esau Edom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, receive therefore instruction through my words, Woo. and it shall do you good. And it shall do you good. And see, mm -hmm. 
Now that we can start implementing the law, you know, rehearse the righteous acts, and we starting to see the benefits of it. Because the laws instantly enhance your life. Yeah. Right. Instantly. Right. It enhances your perspective. It gives you a standard. The law enhances you instantly. The law and the wisdom of the scriptures, they enhance you with uh, instantly, man. Right. You know, you can say and that. it's on uh, it's on every level. You know, it's spiritual, yep. physical, and it's mental. Yeah. Because physical what? The law clearly states uh, what you're supposed to be doing as far as what you're not supposed to be eating. You know, uh like even the going into you know exercise and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know, and then what mentally, hey, it releases burdens from your mind, mm -hmm. you know, because the decision making that you you the wise decision making, you know, allows you to what uh, eliminate problems, yep. and then spiritually how, yep. hey, because it's passed down and, and you don't you understand that you uh, won't go off if you do certain things, man, you know, it's a clear conscience, hey, you feel better, you know, so forth and so on. Uh, had another one okay. it's uh, Proverbs chapter 4 and verse uh, I'm going to start at verse 20 I'll start at actually uh, 19 it says the way of the wicked is as darkness they know not at what they stumble my son attend to my words incline thy ear unto my sayings let them not depart from thine eyes let them in the midst of thine heart for they are life unto those that find them. Woo, they are life to those that find them. And see, how is Shai teaching us how to live, how to exist? You see, and it says, the way of the wicked is darkness. They know not of what they stumble. That's why you see how people keep following the same trap. Same thing. Okay? Niggas still going to jail for the same shit they was going to jail for 20 years ago. Okay? Niggas fall into the same trap. Okay? When, uh, women still are following this into the same trap of feminists even though women are being uh, are coming out and testifying how miserable and lonely they are and they regret regret it being promiscuous man see when you're in darkness you don't know what you're stumbling at because just what what did the serpent do he gang he dangled the perks in front of you you see and that's what niggas look at the perks so they all is mine they trying to live by the rap video, the man and the woman. The, the, the Jake trying to be the nigga in the rap video, and, and E trying to be the woman in the rap video, man. Not seeing the reality of the stump. Like, when you go to neighborhoods, that's when you go to different hoods and shit, that's a community of people that's trying to be the same thing. Yeah. They're stumbling at the same thing. An impoverished community is trying to be the same thing and you say about people waking up still trying to do the same shit. Hey, <laughs> I, I remember we was uh the, the brother of Manatha Zagba, the elder Manatha Zagba, he went into uh he was doing a, a lesson, he was going into a number of rappers that got killed. And it was just like every year it's an increase of yeah. rap niggas yeah. getting killed, yeah. dying off. But Jake still see that and see what it breeds <laughs> and still want to go the same route yeah you still want to join that you, you still want to join that industry and mimic that same behavior and wrap that same garbage under that same wicked demonic influence and you, like you got to be insane to think that you're going to come out of that and it's going to be different it's the same thing over and over and over <clears throat> But if you choose that, mm -hmm. it goes back to you. It, it, it goes back to choice. You you chose that. But it shows you Jake is willing. They're they're they're, they're willing willingly uh, wicked. Because the Lord has the ways out of that right in your face. It's made available to you every day. But. Like I said, you, 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 when you're in darkness, you don't even know what you're stumbling at. <laughs> you know? Look. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 5. I'm going to start here at uh, 23. It says, But this people have the revolting and rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Mm -hmm. Neither say they in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our power that giveth rain, both, for, uh, both the former and the latter in this season. He reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest, 
your iniquities have turned away these things and your sins have withholding good things from you. Yeah, so Jake is revolting and gone. And revolting is rebellion. Yeah. Okay, and our people are in the pretty because rebel, you know, going to back, going to reap, going to back, bail, going to war. Our people are at war with their power through their culture, man. Yeah. Okay, these cultures given to you by Esau, Edom, that, that he gave to our people, to us as a people, put us at war with our power, man. Okay? Yeah. And that's what withholding good things from you. You know, what held good things from us was sin and iniquity. <laughs> okay? And our people are still laden in these things and trying to prosper. That's why you always want to have a genre. As long as this society is going, you're going to always have a genre of struggle rap. Right. <laughs> okay? Because niggas won't listen. You know? Yeah, bro. And this is uh, 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set a snares. They set a trap. They catch men. As the cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Mm -hmm. And see, you have this, you know, dealing with pastors, you know, these wicked church, these Christian pastors, <laughs> Israelite, uh, 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 false teachers, and then these rap niggas, man. Okay? Because they put out this narrative as if that's the way to be. Mm -hmm. They push that as the way of prosperity. That's why you have a video. Here it is, a nigga is rapping death to you, but in the video, all you see is prosperity. Mm -hmm. Cars, women, jewelry, houses, yeah. clothes. Yeah. Fame. Yeah. You see, but a nigga is rapping death to you, man. But around them is prosperity, and that entraps, you know, young Jake impressionable. Mm -hmm. You know, he's five, six, seven. Remember uh, what it was, 106 in Park? Yeah. You watching that shit, you know, 12, 13, you impressionable as hell. You know, so when you, when you go outside, you trying to imitate that shit, man. You know, and it's a trap. Because when you go out there, Esau got a task force for the, 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 the shit that niggas is going platinum about. Huh. This, niggas, this nigga is going platinum, going on world tours, all right, telling you to be a criminal. Yeah. But there's a task force for every crime that this nigga uh, is telling you to do. Okay. That's a trap. Because the trap is what? what uh, when you have a trap, when you're trying to trap an animal, you put the animal's Bait. lust yeah. within the trap. Bait. So what all the animals see? Yeah. It's the lust. Yeah. It's his desire. If you want to trap a bear, you put a piece of fish, you know, mm -hmm. all that he sees is that. He don't see... This big ass spike trap that's going <laughs> when you get you just see the fish. <clears throat> you know? And that's what Esau did. That's why like Esau is known as what? A cunning hunter. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. see? He hunts the souls of men. Huh. You know, he got it, bro. Uh, that was it on you? Uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit more. Okay, you finish. Okay, this is uh, continuing. This 27. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxing rich. Mm -hmm. They are waxing fat. They shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Yep, because Esau had these few of our people, celebrities, whether they're, you know, false Israelite pastors, church pastors, or these uh, entertainers. He have those few people because it's the same people that been rich since he was young. Mm -hmm. P. Diddy, Shaq, Jay Z, Mayweather. Like it's the same people that's been super rich since he was younger. Mm -hmm. So he'll push them people in your face like this is the opportunity that you got if you conform, but it's a trap. The nigga woman, you know, he 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 recreate what he wants the nigga woman to be with the newest rapper because it went from Queen Latifah mm -hmm. to uh, MC Light, mm -hmm. then when Foxy Brown came out, yeah. what did you have? Yeah. Il Nana, yeah. which did you go back to? That's an actual deity. Yeah. Then you had what you had, Lil yeah. Kim. And then he came to the south with a train. Yeah, and when he came to the south, that like, then it was over. Now you had Trina, then you had Nicki Minaj, yeah. now you got Cardi, Cardi B, B, Glorilla. <laughs> Esau evolved you into somewhat conscious and feminine to the ratchetest Monster. or the grimiest of the ratchetest. But he got all the and he got yeah. all the tribes. Yeah. <laughs> you got yeah. so you got Eve, that's 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 Judah. And then you got uh, 
uh, Ice, Ice Spice. Yeah. That's uh, Northern Kingdom. Yeah. Cardi B. That's Cardi, Kingdom too. Cardi B. Yeah. Northern Kingdom. So they so they, they just got yeah. the, the whole <laughs> the whole all the tribes sold up. Yeah. And now all you women, the, the younger women, are be aspiring to to to, to follow in their footsteps. You got to pretty much make stripper thought ratchet music. Yeah. To 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 become that. Yeah. But you looking at the perks. Yeah. You looking at all of the the fans and the the, the luxury. The fly outs. Like fly outs. About earlier. Yeah. yeah. That's what you looking at. You court side and shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's that. That was the that was the bait. But then when that trap hit, two two you know two three baby dads later, four five <laughs> of these badass kids later, you in the trap now. Right. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. he, he trapped in now. Yeah, bro. It says they are waxing fat, they shine, they they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Mm -hmm. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. And the fatherless is someone that's vulnerable. You know, because mm -hmm. in, uh, in the ancient world, the man was providing the breadwinner. All right, it was, you know, he was the one that would make moves in society that would forward the house. So in the ancient world, when you lost the man, you know, you lost the biggest asset to your house. Yeah. And the widows and fathers will be vulnerable. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they will have to depend on because if when you even go to the uh Levitical priesthood, those types, you know, was for the salary of the priest, you know, but you had the priest put some back, you know, collectively their salary to take care of the fathers and widow, you know, to supplement the income that they lost. Okay? But in this society <clears throat> What do they do to the fatherless and the widows, man? They prey on them. Huh. You know, they thot them out yeah. and, 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 and thug them out, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're impressionable. You see? Go ahead. I don't get it. That's it. Uh, we we'll find that scripture, uh, I think it's with, with uh, <clears throat> saying that how was Shai saying it was one of the parables. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, what do they say? Bind up the uh, strong man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Mark 3. Yeah. Third chapter on Mark 22nd. Yeah. Same way, man. We had, uh, we still holding the dude running. Right? Got him still in Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found it. Group 4 as well. Okay, yeah. Let's get that. Yeah, this is uh, Mark 3 and 27. It says, no man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind a strong man, and then he will spoil his house. And that's what had happened to us as a nation, because the strong man, the Israelite man, was bound. Mm -hmm. You know, Zaquan, you know, had made the point earlier about the order <clears throat> the Apostle Paul was establishing amongst the Israelite forms. You know, <clears throat> the Heavenly Father, you know, being the top, Yahweh Shai, all right, being under him. The Israelite man on the outside, the woman under the Israelite man, and the children, you know, under the woman. Okay? And if you remove one of those pieces, okay, what happens, man? The whole thing collapses. That's right. You see? It's just like with anything, man. You can have a, a A1 motor, an A1 transmission, or if you take the spark plugs out, you know what I mean? <laughs> you, know, yeah. you, you know, you got the best new motor, new. But if you take off a piece that's needed for that function, okay, now you can't function on yeah. all cylinders, man. Yeah. Okay, and Esau, when he removed the man, that took away the family's ability to connect to a higher power, to be spiritually guided, man. Yeah. <laughs> you see? That's and once it. he was able to do that, Esau put the TV as the man of the house. Yeah. Now T.I. is the man of your house. <laughs> you see? Young G's the man in your house now, man. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you got it, bro. That was it on it? Yeah, that was up. That was okay. You had something else? Uh, no, it, it go away. Okay, get yeah, that. Deuteronomy 28. All right, this is back in the Deuteronomy 28. And it reads, uh, go back to 2. It says, And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. And then, uh, when you jump down to 15, uh, jump read 13. God, this 13, it says, And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only 
and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy power, Yahweh, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them, and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day. So the Lord said we will be above only. We will be the head. Okay? Why? Because we are walking in the right way. You know? We won't just be a head just because he's going to be like, here, be the head. You know, which Lord <clears throat> does what he wants. But nah, part of us being the head was because how we would be law. The law was going to create systems to keep us in power. Yeah, like you said, long term. Yeah, they long term. The laws was, was long term solutions to everything that we could come across within the existence, man. Mm -hmm. When you go into the law, the law gives a long term solution to everything that we will face, all right? In the earth, man. <laughs> you see? Right. So implementing these things will keep us in power because the law was about keeping each man's house strong. Okay? That's why you, because when you start having adultery, now you're messing up another Israelite man's house. Huh. You, you, you're you messing up the inheritance. Yeah. You get the fallen land. Yeah. Because now the woman got to be put to death. Okay? The man got to be put to death. So now those are two houses that was affected based off of act of lust. Oh, right. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Which is going to trickle down even more because now the kids. Yeah. Curse. Now they, they have less uh, parents in the household. So what happens? Yeah. They repeat the same thing. I got uh, real quick. Uh, yeah. Deuteronomy 30 and verse... Um, I'm going to start at 15. It says, See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. Yeah, life and good, death and evil. You see, it's plain. It's <clears throat> black and white. Another thing the devil does, he creates all these gray areas. Yeah. You know, gray areas is nothing but confusion. It's a tra great, the, a gray area is a transition into wickedness, man. Right. That's all it is. It's just a pre-wicked era. Okay. You know? All mm -hmm. these great areas, man. You just blurring lines. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you in a in a in a a moral society, there's straight boundaries that sets apart, you know, good behavior versus wicked evil behavior. This devil, he's just blurring the lines now. Like they're just you can go wherever you want. Yeah. There's no actual boundary line that's separating it. And, you know, there's no consequences if you end up on the other side of the, the boundary line. Because right now, there ain't no boundary line. You could just do whatever. Just law, like the brother was mentioning, lawlessness. When it's lawless, there's no boundaries. When there's no boundaries, chaos. When there's chaos, confusion... It's just all around, just 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 self destruction. Mm -hmm. That's what it all leads to. But this devil convinced the world that death, <laughs> the ways of death, is actually the ways of of, of, of life. Mm -hmm. That's why the scriptures say, "Woe to him that call evil good and good evil." Esau managed to 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 flip the two. So now you just confused, like, well, damn, like, okay, so, I mean, I I, I was born a, a, a male, I feel like a male, but I don't know, like, I see, <laughs> you know, confusion, just, just total confusion. Naturally, you know that that's off. Mm -hmm. But because he's blurring those lines now, you like, well, it might not be that bad if I kind of cross over into you know, and now you got a, just a generation of just confused, self-destructive people out there. Now you got people with uh, 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 regrets yeah. and what got the operation done. Now they re regret that they got it, got it done. They, all type of uh, consequences, complications. health complications. Yeah. You realizing long term. You can't have a family. You're never going to experience the pleasure of, you know, of, of 
something natural. This is what happens. This is why it's best to stay on course. The Lord knew what he was doing from the beginning. The Lord, he, he already had it all mapped out, man. The moment you deviate from that, this is what you get. All right? So I'm, I, I, I'm, I'll continue real quick. It says, uh, See, I have set before thee this day life and, and, life and good and death and evil. And that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy power, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments, and his statutes, and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply. And the Lord thy power shall bless thee in the land, whether thou goest to possess it. Mm -hmm. But if thine heart turn away, deviate, so that thou wilt not hear, but shalt be drawn away, and worship other gods, and serve them, and this society is, is, is just, I mean, we're in the, the uh, abominations of the earth, the mother of harlots. Mm -hmm. All right, just nothing but idolatry all around you. And that's why our people are, are you know, that's why they're, they're messed up. Because they didn't lost their way. All right, it says, I denounce unto you this day that you shall surely perish and that you shall not prolong your days upon the land. Whether thou goest, it's like whether thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. And this is what we're living in now is us choosing death. And the Lord made good on that, He removed us out of the land. And he allowed deaf culture to conquer the earth, man, at the at the at, at the rulership under the rulership of Esau Edom. That's yes, it. Okay, we had a way. <laughs> you know, they promoted life. Our culture was all about promoting life. It was all about inheritance. It was all about family structure. Okay, it was all about rooting out. Okay, weaknesses that would hinder us from growing as a nation, man. Okay, when you go into the law, every law that has something to do with death, because long term, that will plague the nation. Now we exist in the plague. Yeah. Okay, we, we exist in the plague of of of, 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 uh, of degenerate niggas, single mothers. Okay, uh, a dysfunctioning family. Okay, extremely violent communities. Uh, drug infested communities. Okay, all that came from decision making of, of our people, man. You know, you got to say something. Yeah, I'll uh, read this last verse. Okay. It says, That thou mayest love the Lord thy power, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life. Yeah, that's our life. And see, now we're fighting to cleave to our power in the midst of wickedness, man. Yeah. You know, the scriptures say, you know, Blessed are those that thirst for righteousness, for we shall be filled. Yeah. You know? See, we're going to be satisfied when Yahweh comes and establishes righteousness in the earth. We're going to be satisfied, man. Okay? Because now we're vexed and fed up with wickedness, man. We, we, we've tapped out. Yeah. You know, as we were speaking of before, like the, the, the wisdom of the scriptures has given the men of Yahweh a standard. And that standard is constantly increasing. This world is constantly getting more filthy. To now, we look at the world with disgust, man. The things that we used to run after and get excited for, and you know, you, you went and bought an outfit just for the weekend. Now, you look at the things that's out in the world, man. You look at these things with disgust now, man. <laughs> you know, this is a filthy, this is a filthy society, man. You know, the brother. <laughs> was playing the uh, Patrice O'Neal, mm -hmm. you know, which, hey, he, he was wrong with it, man, but, you know, his point of view is really how Jake feel, but Jake, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they can't say anything. Hey, if you, uh, Patrice O'Neal unreleased, it's called Marrying My Girl, man, you know, y'all yeah. brothers take, <laughs> you know, Yep. You probably won't listen to it with headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, listen to that, man. Hey, hey, but shit, that shit, 
And she real did and she hurt. Like yeah, she yeah. vexed. Yeah, sit on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You laughing, but she you really won't cry. Yeah. Man. You know? You got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some more room. Yeah, finish it. Okay, okay. It says, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life in the lift of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. So this is what we're coming back to. Mm -hmm. And the Lord's going to establish that eternal peace, you know, that we're going to really appreciate obedience, you know. In this captivity, we've learned to appreciate Lord's obedience, man. You know, on a whole nother level, man. Like, mm -hmm. like we, it's clicking. Yeah. You yeah. know, righteousness is clicking. Like, damn. You know, we look into the earth, and in our mind, that's how you know the Lord is grooming us to be judges. Because you can look out to the earth and see something, and the precept will come to your mind. Yeah. Right. To fix what's happening. God. 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 <laughs> you know, that's how you know the Lord is grooming brothers to be judges, man. Because what does a judge do? He goes by the book. Yeah, it goes by the the, the <clears throat> situation that's presented, the case that's presented to him, okay? And he resolves it based on the format, okay, of the law. Yeah. You know, and that's what the Lord groom his men to do. Okay. To apply, this is like a, this is pretty much mm. like a uh, internship. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. of being judges, man. You know? Yeah, because yeah, like even... Yeah. First Corinthians six. <laughs> no, not you. You shall yeah. judge. You shall judge the world. Yeah. You judge angels. You know. So yeah, we we prepared ourselves, man. And hey, you, you go a little deeper. If we, you know, if we're, if we're of the elect, we were with Yahweh when he first made all this. Yeah. Yeah. So of course, those same souls are going to be here, being groomed to be prepared to rule. What they help to create. Mm -hmm. And just so right now, we just have to go through that experience of this is what happens when you deviate out of the instructions. It's a world of bitterness, you know. You got to see that the <clears throat> nations ruling over, you know, what, what was beautiful in its natural order. They're ruining it, they're destroying it, they're corrupting it, you know. But that's why, this is why we hasten the coming of the day of our Lord, because when he returns, he's going to um, reestablish it. It's going to be, um, you know, rejuvenated, so to speak. Then we're going to finally get to see everything in its rightful order. That's when we're going to, uh, and, and right, right, right now we're preaching, like the brother said, we're appreciating, you know, the law. We, we appreciate it because of what it, what his purpose is intended for. Mm -hmm. Everything has an intended purpose. You know? Everything. So, when, when, like, the scriptures talk about how uh, the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. So, the more you understand that, the more you start to hate sin. You know, you, you, you hate wickedness because you know that it, that's what it breeds. It breeds death. Mm -hmm. And you see Jake all around us, they're doing everything that warrants death. You warn Jake about uh, swine. Jake don't want to put this damn swine down, but they wonder why they in the hospital every other month. They on all these medications. <clears throat> well, if you go back to the law, you wouldn't have to deal with these complications. Now you're staring death in his face. There's a reason why the law, that law is in there. You see? There's a reason why, like, when there's different laws on, you know, uh, uh, different judgments. Certain laws, like, for, for example, um, there would, uh, you have uh, sins, you know, regular sins, and then you have sins unto death. So why, you know, why is there certain um, uh, 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 judgments that warrants death? As to what? Huh? Why? Why did the Lord? Why did the Lord in certain instances say, "All right, well, if you do this particular sin, you're worthy. To, you're worthy of death." Because there are certain sins that are so flagrant that if it becomes widespread amongst the nation of Israel, 
then they would all be doing the works of death. Which is why you nip it in the bud. Adultery, that, that's, a, that's zero tolerance. So why did the Lord have both the man and the woman get put to death? So that that, that behavior does not spread. It's to put away evil from among you. That, that's why. See, like over there in, in the uh, Middle Eastern countries or them countries where, where they uphold uh, uh, Islam, it ain't too much adultery happening over there. They ain't got a word too much about their women creeping off. Like the moral police? Yeah. <laughs> they ain't got to worry about that. Why? Because they, they enforce the law, that law. They ain't got to worry about going through their women's uh, phones and finding some stuff. They don't even, they don't even, I don't even think they have that. They ain't, even, they ain't even thinking about that. But you got that liberty here in, in, in Babylon. And you wonder why it's, it's just so much, just, you know, adultery rampant. Dudes running through, like, it's just, it's just all around wickedness, man. This is why the Lord concluded this generation as a, 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 a evil, a, it's like a sinful and adulterous generation, man. Because you're lawless. And this is an example that we brought up earlier. This is yeah. a Surah 40. And I'll start here at um, 28. It says, My son, lead not a beggar's life, for better it is to die than to beg. Bro. <laughs> like, see, where does that stem from? When you got grown men, grown able-bodied men who... They literally live their life leeching off of everybody else. These are you're talking about grown ass men. What does that go back to? That goes back to their upbringing, their home. Now, just imagine if they enforce the law in Deuteronomy, the 21st chapter. I got it. Yeah. This is Deuteronomy 21 and 18. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him but not hearkening to them, then shall his father and his mother lay hold of him and bring him out unto the elders of the city and unto the city of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of the city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious, he would not obey our voice. He is a glutton and drunkard, and all the men of his city shall stone him with stones that he die. So shalt thou put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear in fear. So just imagine that. You would not have these 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 low ass grimy niggas that 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 live their life just going around finessing. Leeching, you know, living off of they 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 parents at a at a at a at a grown 30, 40 plus year old men living off of they, they, they mothers sleeping from on this couch to that couch to that couch, eating up their food, not trying to do nothing. Well, guess what? Those type of individuals would not exist in society if that law was implemented. They got rid of that early. So they don't grow to become that. 12, 13. 12, 13 years old. No, that, that's it. That's out. But my son, he's, he's gluttonous. He don't want to listen. He don't want to work. He doesn't want to learn his trade. I'm trying to uh, instruct him so that he can go and... and, and Live well off on his own and have, have you know have a family and, and children. You just want to be a nigga. Well, hey, that law is right there. And why are you you other Israelite <clears throat> groups? Because y'all get upset when we when, when we bring out the, the other one. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about that. You get you, you get all messed up. But what about this? You you agree with that though, right? Putting your own children to death. 
some of y'all would not be able to stomach that. But this is how we operated in the ancient world. This was part of the culture. This, this ain't black culture. Mm -hmm. Black culture is, you know, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put little little Jamal on camera while he he, he cussing these hoes out. Yeah, two three yeah. years old cussing, yeah. cussing everybody out. Yeah, yeah. Then you at the courtroom. Yeah. Surprise! This nigga uh, yeah, he got felonies. Yeah. 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 You're in the courtroom like I can't believe he doing this. What you mean? Yeah. Look at this. Thing. Yeah. What yeah. else he gonna be? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you, you, you let your your uh your 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 hood boyfriend. He playing he playing with guns with yeah. him. Yeah. He let him hold the gun. Yeah. You know, you got some 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 uh, 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 some drill music playing in the background. He he rapping to to, to the tune. He know every lyric to yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all blowing smoke in, in in his face. Yeah. You see this nigga once a week. Right. <laughs> 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 like, like, yeah. like goddamn, what? <laughs> yeah. The earth raising this nigga. Yeah. yeah. You know. It's <laughs> on. Yeah, you got it is a Ciroc 30, and um, I'm going to start here at 20, uh, 7. It says, he that maketh too much of his son shall bind up his wounds, yep. and his bowels will be troubled at every cry. You make too much of them. Because, see, uh, especially the nigga woman, what they do with their sons, they pamper them, yeah. yep. okay? You know, they spoil them, they nourish them. You know, they pretty much nourish them into niggas. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, see? Kind of. You 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 finance this nigga while he's learning to be a nigga. <laughs> you see? You sponsor this nigga while he's learning to be a nigga. You yeah. make light of him. And now when this nigga go wreak havoc in the earth, you gotta try to fix that shit. Right. <laughs> you yeah. see? And by that time he's he's stronger than you. Yeah, he's over he's not, with. He's not looking at you with, with fear. Yeah, yeah. That, all that hollering, yeah, Jake ain't studying that shit. Yeah. They're screaming, Jake ain't studying that shit, man. Jake ain't gonna do the fuck he wanna do. Yeah. Yep. Cause they ain't no authority. You know? Oh yeah. It's seven. Um it's like he that make it too much of his son shall bind up his wounds and his bowels will be troubled at every cry. Mm -hmm. A horse not broken become a headstrong. A horse not broken. Okay? And if you're dealing with children that are never broken, they're going to continue to be more impulsive and more uh, willful until they're broken. Either someone on either Esau going to get that nigga a linebacker number in prison or they going to put that nigga on t-shirt. Yeah. He gonna, oh, he gonna get broken. <laughs> it just how? You know, either he gonna get broken during his upbringing, or he gonna get up broken in his, he gonna get broken in his adulthood, but, oh, he gonna get broken. Yeah. You know? But see, where did this stem from? Because what we're talking about is problems that come from what? Promiscuous culture. Well, there's families with no structure. The law was all about structure. That's why a woman would go straight from her father to her husband. Yeah, she was never in a position to just make these decisions independently by herself. That's right. In this culture, the woman has this liberty to make these decisions by themselves and they're not equipped. If you still think that in your mind a woman has the uh, 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 mental capacity to make certain decisions, okay? You don't understand what's going on. And the earth, and going back, the Lord showed you. He let you have it. Yep. If you coaching the game mm -hmm. and we are 40 points at halftime, then I start coaching and we lose by 80. <laughs> <laughs> then <laughs> the next game, who should coach? Right, right. Okay. So the Lord is showing, look at the, you see the scoreboard, King David, King Solomon, the men, was, you see the scoreboard then. Yeah. Then you look at the scoreboard now, 
So who should be coaching next? <laughs> you know, so the Lord is showing us plainly, you know, <laughs> how it should be, how things should be operating, man. You know, right. and if you keep rebelling, he's just gonna put you to death. Mm -hmm. You know, and just gonna he's gonna deal with those that get it. See, how shot is coming back to those that get it. Yeah. <laughs> you see, like oh he get it, oh yeah. oh she get it. You know, yeah. I can I can deal with them. You know, but if you still in your mind is not clicking, you know, you want to still protect niggas, you still want to have this soft spot for Eve, you don't get it. <laughs> you see? Yeah, bro. It's six. It's like a nine. It says, conquer thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Mm -hmm. Play with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. He bring the heaviness. Okay? The thought of this nigga, you going to be, you going to have anxiety, man. Because you don't know what this nigga going to do next. You don't know what she finna do next. You know? <laughs> Shame to the household. Because at the end of the day, you know, uh, uh, like these young niggas in Memphis, they was busting out windows. And a nigga bust my window, you know? But I ain't had nothing niggas wanted. You know, I had some incense. Yeah, you know what I mean? Camera stand, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Had water, you know. Niggas don't drink water, you know. So I had nothing. Niggas wanted, <laughs> you know. But one of the grandma, uh, it, was, it was an old J grandma came out there. She said something. She said, "When they find them niggas, they need to go find the parents too." Yeah, yeah. She said, yeah. "The old J grandma said, when they find them <laughs> niggas, they need to go find the parents too." Yeah. They all need to be in the same goddamn cell, man. Yeah, for real. You know? Because pretty much, and this is another thing, this society is damn near perilous. Right. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. how, who being a parent with all these TikTok challenges coming out every goddamn four hours? The yeah. clubs pack. Yeah. Who, when, when are you a parent? You on, you getting flew out. Yeah. You stay on the girl's trip. When is you being a parent? When <laughs> you know the nigga to any a lot of you are too a lot of you too inebriated to be parented. You high, you drinking all day, you on the weed smoke, or you probably taking taking something. You're not so you're not even in the mental capacity to even care for a child. You ain't even got time for it. You rather just put him in front of the TV, drop him off at grandma, yeah. put a, a smartphone or a tablet, tablet yeah. in, in, in front of him, a, a, a video game. You ain't finna sit with your with your children and actually uh, guide them and teach them. This what uh, the scriptures speak about. I believe it's in Lamentations four. It says, "Yea, even the sea monsters draw the the breasts for their young ones." Yeah. It says, "But the, my people are cruel like the ostrich." Daughters of my yeah, people. Yeah, the daughters of my people. So, like, they're mm -hmm. cruel like the ostrich, man. And when you look into the nature of those creatures, hey, the sea monster, uh, specifically the octopus, you know, she lays, like, thousands of eggs. But she, she'll she stay by those eggs until all of them are hatched. And even if that means she has to die, you know, that's that's the nature of that, that animal. But the ostrich, when you look at the nature of that animal, it's clumsy. And understanding how big that ostrich egg is, it'll step on it, man, and break it and kill the baby. Very negligent. Yeah, kind. Yeah. And they come from what? Deviated. Yeah. You know, because that same scripture in Lamentations 4, it talks about how the sons of Zion, which are comparable to fine gold, how their esteem is earth and vessels. Yeah. How did how did the Israelite man lose value, man? When he started deviating, when we started deviating from this, our value plummeted, man. Kind. Men and women. Value plummeted. Watch that show, Bridgerton, man. You see how the virtue of women, if you got caught alone with a man, right. that man then they had to marry you because you was compromised. We don't know what happened. Right. So said, you got to marry her. Okay. If you kiss, a woman get kissed, done. Okay. But now, you don't even want to talk about it. Man, just, just watch Patrice O'Neal, man. He, <laughs> he, 
Patrice O'Neal marrying my girl on uh, 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 YouTube, man. You know? God damn. I had one real quick. Uh, Jeremiah 2 and uh, 21. It says, Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. Yeah. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? And then, the, and, 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 the, and the, the current condition of a nigga is due to the enchantments of Esau Edom, beginning with black exploitation movies. Okay, what did Jake want to do? Be the pimp, Superfly, yeah. all this shit. And then Superfly, what did he bring after that? You know, NWA, gangster yeah. rap. Okay, then what did he brought after that, man? Thug, Tupac. Then nigga brought the trap. You see? Now these trapping niggas are what? Metrosexual. Because even you go to that whole thing with young thugs. See, I've been, you know, you get a little free time. You just think about what this nigga, you just meditate like, damn, this nigga, like young thug. Yeah. Now he's teaching the young thugs to do what? Be metro. Because yep. the thug is the biggest influence damn near on earth. Mm -hmm. That's why you got uh, uh, uncles in China doing drill rap and London drill mm -hmm. rap. Like, that's the most influential thing in the earth is that street nigga image right now. So what is he doing? He's piggybacking off the street image and making them mo yeah. and transition the youth into their mo shit, man. And who and who's at the forefront? What what and you have all these single mother households, so all those children are vulnerable. Yeah. <laughs> you see? This devil he got he got that one two in wickedness, man. Yeah. You know, he 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 jabbed you niggas with that thug shit. Now he finna knock just knock motherfuckers out with the uh with the homo, man. Man. <laughs> he thug shit with the jab. Now yeah. he going with a knockout, man. You know? This literally this literally these these are devices that he created for you to use against yourself. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much like a like a like a self-destruction uh, basically <laughs> kamikaze. Yeah. So, so yeah, self deterioration. That's literally what to to degenerate means. It means to deteriorate. You know, you you deteriorating uh, uh, spiritually, morally. You know, mentally. You're you you're, you're deteriorating, man. Like it says in the Isaiah the first chapter, it's just full of uh, uh, wounds, putrefying sores, bruises. You know, and with, with, with no with no healing, the whole head is sick. The whole head is just sick, and it ain't getting any better, man. It's getting worse. Mm -hmm. And then we're trying to, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shah, we're trying to give you the the, the the medicine. We're trying to give you the, the spiritual herbs, but you saying, no, nah, we don't want it. We don't need it. You just want to wallow in, in 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 your in your wickedness, man. So, hey, the Lord said, I will, I will choose your delusions because you don't want to hearken unto his voice. Now you got to, now Jacob's trouble. Now you got to, now this, this is what you get. Mm -hmm. You know, since, since you don't, you don't want to take the, the, the mercy route. You don't want to take the Lord's long suffering. All right. Well, hey, this is what you Going back to uh, Deuteronomy, choose, choose this day. Life and good, death and evil. It's right there. So black culture, that's just, hey, that, that's just it. So you choose death. If you can, real quick, give me uh, Sirach 15. So rock 15 and uh, I think it's uh 13. So rock 15 and 13. Huh. Yeah. This is the book of Sorak. So like yeah, uh not not 13, uh verse 16. 16 and 17. Uh -huh. So rock 15 and 16? Yep. 17. Okay. This is rock 15, verse 16. It said, he have set fire and water 
before D, stretch forth thy hand until weather thy will. Yeah. Yeah, pick, choose. You want water or you want fire? Go ahead. Verse 17, before man is like in death, and well to him, like it shall be given him. Hey. So it's on, it, it's on you. Life and death. Whatever, whichever one you like the best, that's what you that's what you're gonna get. You like this this, this black culture shit? Well, you're gonna continue to experience the, the, the effects of black culture. Broken homes, child abuse, depression. You get a, a, a profile every day. You having to look over your shoulder every day. Your sorrow of the heart, sorrow of the mind. You don't, you're not having a short take uh, of your life. Diabetes, cancer, because you don't want to put the cigarettes and the in the in the in the swine down in the shellfish. Hey. You choosing that. Mm -hmm. The Lord is making it very plain to you. If you hearken unto these commandments and these are not grievous, you, you'll be prosperous. You'll be straight. You'll be on top. You'll be over the nations. You ain't got to worry about Esau trying to groom your child. You don't have to worry about, you know, like, what do you want? You want death. So the, the Lord has given that to you, man. So you can't really complain. And Jay had the nerve to uh, put it, put everything, put blame back on the most high. Mm -hmm. What kind of God would do this and do this? No, nah, don't, don't, don't try to uh, 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 gaslight the most high. Yeah. yeah. Don't put that on him. He already said, he, he said it before you. Choose you this day. Choose life or death. It's either keep these commandments or die. It, it, it's, it's just that it's just that that simple. Black and white. It's black and white, man. So that that was uh, mm. I think that was the point. Okay. I got it. Uh, we can get two more. We can get them. Um, let's get that. And, uh, Matthew 11, 28. Did we ever bring up that Baruch 4? Yeah. Oh, you still hold it. That's why I want to be in. Yeah. Matthew uh, 11, 28. And you said something earlier. That I'm going to kind of drive the point home. You know, because as we come back into the truth, you know, brother. You know, spoke about how this wisdom, you know, and this standard enhances us in every way. You know, okay. this is Matthew 11 and 28. And it reads, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yeah, because it's a heavy laden and a heavy burden to try to keep up with the status quo of this society. Because remember, Esau made the street nigga the standard, the alpha yeah. male. So, as a man, you want to be, you know, attracted, you know, you want women to be attracted to you. So, here it is, you have men that put themselves in horn's way to try to get some clout. That's a burden. Right. You know? Like, damn. I, you know, you got to do some, some yeah. street shit. Some dumb shit. Some dumb shit. Right. You got to be a crash dummy for yeah. there. Yeah. That's a burden. Yeah. You in the drive, you know, here it is. You, you the star quarterback. <laughs> yeah. You know, out of the school, you know, you, 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 you pretty well to do, but you want that street cred. Right. So now, you doing yeah. dumb shit. You see, that's a burden, man. Trying to keep up and be the the, the image that's likable to this society, to this world. Like that's a burden, man. But see, Yahweh Shai, like, come unto me. You see, that's another thing is men, when Yahweh Shai, now we focus on pleasing Yahweh Shai. Pleasing Yahweh Shai is simple. Just as the quote was saying, it's do the right thing. Okay. It ain't about no dollar amount. It ain't about, you know, 
uh, 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 being oppressed um, or looking a certain way to the, no, nah, just do the right thing. Whatever I've given you, do the right thing by the things that I have given you, man. That's right. As men, it's easy to impress you how a shot, but you would die trying to impress one of these goddamn women, man. You know, so you have a shot took that burden off of us. Like, nah, impress me. And impressing me ain't hard. You just got to be consistent, man. That's right. <laughs> you see? Go ahead. Kindness 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. Yep. And ye shall find rest unto your soul. And it's a rest. Like now, we spent this time doing this video, bringing our points and precepts of the Spirit allowed us to do. Guess what? After this, we're going to be at ease. Okay. Pop all these women, or you can go do some dumb shit. Now you, damn, I hope I don't get caught. Yeah, all this trust. Yeah, yeah, like, damn. If I, now I got to see if I see this nigga again, you know? But no, we here serving your house shot. We at ease, man. This is good. We don't care if no woman on earth is attracted. You to the point we don't give a damn. Okay, then right. you look at his filth like you like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> look at if we pull you gonna pull up your highlight tape. Man. You know, like come on man, like now as we doing this, we at ease. <laughs> Cause then we know this ain't the end all be all, because the majority of people on the miracle finna die. That's it. You know? So why I go be a crab dummy for someone that's finna die? When I have a chance of immortality through your house shot. And it's a much easier life. Yeah. It's, it's a more peaceful life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It catches up the, the folly and the BS that the average person has to deal with. Yeah. You know, even when you look into uh, Jake and these holidays. Yeah. Hey, Jake do what? They spend their whole check trying to please whether it's their kids or their woman on the holidays, then they got bills due next next day, next yeah, week. Yeah. So now they're trying to stress on, oh, how I'm gonna get this money. Yeah. And what the Lord clearly told you, hey, uh, that He doesn't sit in these uh, the, what, uh when we go to the Isaiah the sixty fifth uh sixty fifth chapter, man. You know, oh, it's like Amos it says, yeah. I hate, I despise your feast days, man. Yeah. You know. So He told us the guidelines of what we should and shouldn't be doing, because it's a easier stress uh, stress free life. Yeah. When you look for life. Yeah. Because what Jake is, um, as the scripture says, for rebellion is a sin of witchcraft. And what Jake does what? They constantly rebel because, hey, we were talking before, they look at the short term things. They're like, oh, what well, action at the moment is going to make me feel good. Yeah. But, but what is it going to do at the end? It's going to fuck you up, man. Oh, now you got a child on the way. Now you got three children on the way. Now you got baby mom issues. Now you got child support. Hey, it, the, the, your, your issues continuously stack up because you're, you're being disobedient. And there is no rest. Yeah, and it's no rest. But guess what? This is the refreshing. Yeah, this is the rest. <laughs> you know, this is this is you know the uh, the the when the scripture talk about um, the weary the, the, cause the weary to the, the, to rest. Yeah. This is the rest right here, man. Mm -hmm. This will put you at like mentally. This is why the scripture is known as the comforter. It's giving you comfort, man. And Jake, Jake try to seek comfort in, in, in other places. And all they're getting is more and more chaos. Right. <laughs> you know, they just get more and more like, like you, you, you're not resting. Because mm -hmm. this ain't your rest. That's the point. You're supposed to be resting in the Lord, man. It says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yeah, man, how shy. He made this thing very doable for us, man. You know? And forsaking this world is a peace within itself. But you're not caught up in the rat race, man. There's people depressed because they're not living, the, they don't have the prosperity according to this world. Like you have men that make eighty five thousand dollars a year, stressing because they ain't making the extra fifteen thousand to be in that bracket of high value for washed up Eve, man. Yeah. You know, that's a that's that's a you know like this this is a this is a used up beat up box that's making all these commands on what you' supposed to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shaming. Yeah. You got hey we you, hey we gonna start talking a little more wrong, man. It is what it is, man. God damn. Yeah. You know, these men make eighty-five thousand just depressed, 
you know, because they're not considered high value according to this instead of being thankful for what the Lord is doing for them, man. You know, because it's all about perspective. You see? You got it, bro. That's why the scripture says that where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Yeah. You know, because our mind isn't on the, the corruptible crown here. Yeah. You know? And we we not a gathering up riches upon earth, but rather in, in heaven, man. You know? Our, our, we're, we're searching for, we're, we're searching and working for a glory that's a, a obtainable through a immortality, man. Right. That was it. Yeah, that was it. We ain't there, but we had something though. No, no, no. Okay, let's get that. Yeah. There's a yeah. brute for at the top. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and the law that endures forever. The law that endures forever. And that's a cut on every Christian that says the law done away with you. Scripture says the law endures forever. Okay, because the earth abides forever. And you look at the earth and everything in it, why, why does everything reincarnate every year? Okay, the earth was meant to be inhabited forever, as Scripture says. So if the earth is meant to be inhabited, there has to be structure that governs the earth and the inhabitants in it. Because the, 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 the law goes into civil matters, it goes into economics, it goes into debt relief, it goes into welfare, okay? It goes into inheritance, you see? Supply chain. Yeah, these are issues of the earth. They don't need inheritance rights in the spiritual realm. These are issues that happen in the earth they have to be governed, man. So the law is dear forever. You know? So he, I, I got a question. Like real quick. Uh, to, uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and, and 14. It says, I know that whatsoever the most I doeth, it shall be forever. It shall be forever. Go ahead. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. Yeah, so the Lord established the earth and everything in it to be forever, man. You know? And that's why when you see when the pandemic... When they had the lockdown, oh, yeah. how the earth started healing itself. Yeah, kind of, yeah. kind of. You know? The air quality changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The earth started healing itself. Mm -hmm. Showing you that it's meant to self-sustain itself. It just had to be governed and managed and righteousness, man. But the earth is meant to self-sustain itself, you know, eternally, man. Yeah. And these are the things we think upon. Then niggas talking about having fun. The earth, the earth is in chaos, man. Not concerned about no goddamn fun, man. Right. Okay. We we got our look whatever we got and we enjoyed a little bit. Then it's back to this, man. Yeah. To the real business, man. You know, go ahead. It says, nor anything taken from it and the most I do it fit that men should fear before him. Yep. So the Lord established the earth, you know, to be inhabited forever, man. All right. And he created this creation. To exist eternally, man. They're like the sun and the moon. They created, okay. The sun ain't never, you know, uh, uh, at thirty percent. You know, like a cell phone. You know, oh, you gotta plug it up. And nah, it was created to do its job eternally, man. The sun, the stars. That's why he put that out there. If you can do away with these things, I do away with Israel. Showing that Israel was created to be what immortal. Them celestial beings, man. Because <laughs> going back to when we went into uh, Deuteronomy 4, it says, and uh, this is our wisdom in the sight of the nations. Yep. And understanding that the scriptures say for righteousness is immortal. Yep. You know, we're Ooh. supposed to be that standard. Hey, because hey, we're supposed to be hey, the head. We're yep. supposed to be that top nation, man. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This continuing, it says, all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. So if we come to life. Okay, going back to those two options. You know, as the Quran was bringing out earlier, I said before you did think what? Life, Life and death. death. You see? And the most I let us experience death culture, all right, we have no curiosity and wickedness anymore. Hey, we get it. You know, we, we hit the mat. <laughs> Go ahead. Two, turn the old Jacob and take heed of it. Yep. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. The light, the yeah. weight. Because something light is, is given clarity. So the Most High's game was clarity and righteousness. Even though we can't fulfill the law perfectly right now, we understand it. We see why. Like I said, we understand why you were stoned a nigga, yeah. a lazy nigga. We understand why you would get rid of adulterer and adulterers, man. Okay? Yeah. We understand, all right, why. Uh, if a woman 
you know, wasn't betrothed and she was taken by a man, that man now has to take on their responsibility, man. Because that's the long-term solution. <laughs> you see? see. You know, if, 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 a, if a man dies and doesn't have an heir, his brother would do the duty and raise up an heir for, his, for, for in place of his brother, man, to keep the inheritance. It's all long-term. It's bigger than just the two individuals that's involved. The law, did, and show you how the law is immortal, it deals with making decisions for people that's not even born yet. Yeah. <laughs> you see? That's immortal. And he's thinking down the line. Esau told you things now. Yeah. You know, OnlyFans, BBLs, mm -hmm. the Charger, Hellcat, you know, yeah, some stupid shit. <laughs> you know? Okay. You got bro. Two, it says, turn thee, O Jacob, and take heed of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, mm -hmm. that thou mayest be illuminated. Give not thine honor to another. <coughs> Give not thine honor to uh, thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Yeah, see, this way, see, us keeping the law puts us in the favor with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. No other nation can do that. These nations don't have the access. To you, how about Shema Al Shah? No matter how well they try to keep the law. Yeah. <clears throat> being righteous benefits us on a whole nother level. Okay, then these other nations, man. But Jake, you know, he doesn't want to step into the things that will make him prosper, man. Mm -hmm. He's, a lot of our people are enchanted by what Esau says will make you prosperous, man. But it's all rooted in death, you know? But that was the point on that. Yeah, uh, one one uh, script just uh, real quick is uh second address uh, seven and verse uh, fifty nine. Yeah, it says, "For this is the life where Moses spake unto the people while he liveth, saying, Choose thee life that thou mayest live.' Yep, choose thee life that we may live, man. And now the elect in this time are choosing life again. That's why we did to this shit because this shit is death. Yeah." <laughs> you know, yep. excited. If you're living, you don't get excited about death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you right. see, and we're living in your house shop, man. So this is death. We're not excited about this shit, man. Right. You know, like I said we in these cities, Vegas. You know, you can you can run yourself ragged at night <laughs> on, the, on the Monday. You can just go destroy yourself. <laughs> You know, uh, but no, nah, this is death, man. Ain't nothing out here but, but death. You know, you go, you know, you move around a little bit sometimes, <laughs> let your hair back, you know. But there's near and few. Mm -hmm. We got real business to tend to, and that's life, man. And we growing in your house shop, man. This shit dead, man. You know? That's it, man. That was it. All right, so, uh, hey, Lord willing, uh, y'all brothers and you sisters were edified. We're going to give all praises, glory, and honor. To Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakak, Wadash, the ones to the other apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutation to the tabernacle of David, the old four elect. We say Shalom, we're back thumb, Shalom. Shalom.